All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I would like to give all glory, honor, and infinite praises unto our power, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha HaKadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well. Peace, love, salutations to the hopeful elect scattered around the four ends of the earth. I'm the brother Ha'amayan from the Great Millstone, Columbus, Georgia camp. And Nabaratazai, this be an edifying lesson, something quick through the spirit. <clears throat> I'm sitting just thinking, sitting on the porch, trying to get some air. I've been under the weather. You know, um, hey man, we just got to continue to cry out to our Lord, man. Nothing should, nothing should stop us from praising the Lord, man. You know, <clears throat> all type of tests been going on, about to get ready to enter into the Passover, so this fight going to get heavy. You know, but a the scriptures say, um, with all things, <clears throat> with the most high, all things are possible. With men, it's impossible, but all things are possible with the most high, roughly paraphrasing. But here I have a couple precepts lined up, just going on acknowledging thing, not acknowledging, <clears throat> acknowledging your faults to the Lord, man. Because we can't walk around like our shit don't stink. Uh, this is Psalms chapter 32 and verse 5. It reads, I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said I will confess my transgressions. And sin is the transgression of the law. The law was given unto who? Jake, man. Now let's prove this by scripture. Psalms 147 and 19. He shewed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Right? Twelve tribes. So called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. He not he have not dealt so with any nation, because it's 18 nations, man. You know, but the Lord is only dealing with one nation out of those 18, and that's Israel, man. Yah Shar Allah. Yah meaning he. Shar meaning prince, Allah meaning God or power. He prince of power. So he have not dealt so with any nation as and as for his judgments, they have not known them yet. Pray, uh, praise ye the Lord. <clears throat> so <clears throat> the Lord only gave this to Israel, man. So let's jump back into. I keep spelling Psalms wrong. So like, yeah, Psalms chapter 32, verse five. It says, I have, I acknowledge my sin unto thee, and mine iniquity have I not hid. I said I will confess my transgression unto the Lord Yahweh, and thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Look up this word iniquity, man. Strong's Age 5771. Avon. Avon. It says perversity, depravity, iniquity, guilt, or punishment of iniquity, iniquity, guilt, guilt as in as great. So, thou in the Strong's it says evil, fault, iniquity, mischief, perversity, punishment of iniquity, sin. So a compilation of sin, man, being in filth, man. And we was once in darkness, but in this truth, we do things, man. We we go off at times, man. We're not <clears throat> taking our hand from the plow or just quitting on the Lord or nothing like that. But we're in these imperfect bodies and we do things, man. We do things and or we done done things. And that's why the scriptures say what? Um. Let's grab it. I ain't had those ones jot it down, but we can get it real quick. Uh, um, second edge of 16 and 76. It says, I'm going to throw my phone on the charger. It says, and the guide of them, let me start at verse 74 just to get the point. 
Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord, <clears throat> let not your sins weigh you down. Let not your iniquities lift up themselves, man. Because you don't want to be over-righteous, destroying yourself or being over-wicked, man. You know, so it's a balance, man. You got to know yourself, you know, and and the times you fall, hey, we gotta, I'm speaking to myself. We got to pray, cleave unto the Lord. Ask the Lord to forgive you. You know, that brings me to my next precept. Judges. Judges. Chapter 10. Verse 15. And says, And the children of Israel said unto the Lord, Yahweh, we have sinned. Do thou unto us whatsoever seem of good unto thee. Deliver us only, and we pray thee this day. Now, that's a humble, contrite spirit because we understand, like the scriptures say, we bear the indignation. But also, guess what? That we know that we transgress. So it's only right for the Lord to bring his indignation, which is righteous anger. We just got to bear it because we accept the fact that we went off and we go off now. The scriptures say a just man fall of seven times, but he get back up, man. It's not how you fall, it's how you get up. You know, it's how you get up, man. And they put away the strange gods and among them, from among them and served the Lord Yahweh, and his soul was grieved for the misery of Israel. So the point being that um it says verse 15, we have sinned. Do thou unto us whatsoever seem of good unto thee. And only the hopeful elect is, is crying out and you know, having that sincere spirit, contrite, brokenhearted, remorseful. Even myself, man, I hate when I go off. I hate it. You know, may you have by Shamal Shah have um um chasadium, chasadium on me, man. Mercy. <clears throat> have mercy is on the um the sincere occupant Aquaf, man. His chasadium. You know. Because we need mercy, man. We need mercy. If you think you don't need mercy, you tripping. My next precept is Psalms 51. I'll end the lesson off with that. Psalm 51. It says, To the chief musician, the Psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet came unto him after he had gone into Bathsheba, have mercy upon me, O the Most High, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions, man. Because <clears throat> King David committed adultery and got a man put to death, man. You know, but guess what? The point being, he sought after the Most High. He cried out. He was begging for mercy. He didn't, you know, run with the wickedness and in and, and the sense of, like, like, he loved it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you got Jakes out here. They love iniquity. They, like their heart, they 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 are gone. They're revolted, man. You know. This is this is um, beautiful to me, man. I'm gonna jump down. <clears throat> I'm gonna start at verse nine and end it at eleven. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities, man. Babakusha, 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 which means please, 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 you know. Creating me a clean heart, a clean mind, because heart goes to the Hebrew word la'ab, which is your mind. O the Most High, and renew a right spirit within me. And the NLT it says, creating me a clean heart, O the Most High, renew a loyal spirit within me. Being sincere. A spirit that pleases him. And guess what? That's departing from wickedness. Scriptures say to depart from wickedness is pleasing to the Lord. Cast me not away from thy presence. And this is something we should be asking the Lord daily, throughout the day and daily. You know, first and foremost, pushing myself to do this. Exhorting myself, encouraging myself, man. Do this. Pray to the Lord, man. Um, just to quote the scripture in Acts 14, 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith that through much tribulation should we enter into the kingdom of the Most High. 
Um, and you got to think about, matter of fact, let me grab that real quick because this the thing. Um, confirming the souls of the disciples, Acts 14, 22, confirming of the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. But the point is exhorting who exhort us to continue in the faith. Our apostles and elders, man, they push us. You young brothers, I'm just a babe, man. I don't have no problem with saying that because I'm not trying to come up fast. You know, we all get tested, get tested with being puffed up or saying, you know, we, we go through those things. But that's not a that, that's not the reason I'm making this lesson. But with that understanding who you are, you know, what is your main focus? The focal point is supposed to be you you striving for the truth and to death, receiving salvation, Abarath desire from Yahweh by Shema was shy. But within that, you know, examining yourself, continue in the faith. And who do that? The 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 the, the, the our apostles and elders exhort us to co to continue in the faith. You know, we can we exhort each other as brothers to continue in the faith, man. So that's why I brought that out. So this is Psalms 51 and 11. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. The word holy goes into kodash with a Q and spirit goes into racha. So racha kodash, Holy Spirit, Spirit, Holy, Holy Spirit. You know, so Abaratazai, this was an edifying lesson to someone out there, man, because we need mercy from the Lord, man. It's not about how you fall. It's about how you get back up, man. So keep fighting. First and foremost to myself, teaching myself while I'm making this lesson, man, to keep pushing, man. You know, so operators out, it was edifying. I would like to close out by giving all glory, honor, infinite praises to our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Ha, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the teaching we will.